I didn't study painting in school at all. I just decided to paint a mural on my floor once when I was living in a warehouse. And uh, I think it kind of went from there. People often consider what I am doing, especially when I'm working on a mural with spray paint, um, they consider it graffiti and I want to uh, clarify that it's not graffiti because graffiti is technically, you know, unsanctioned. I want to try and like break those stereotypes. I want people to recognize the work for what it is. It's a large scale painting, it's outdoors, you know, it's like free. Because of technology, because of uh, the materials we have now, that is the main reason why it's exploding like it is and, and people are able to make work on this scale. For this one I used the projector first, traced that with um, with one color spray paint and then um, once I've done that I just add in all of the colors and layers bit by bit as if you know a cup is filling from the bottom. So the magnolia flower takes up the most space in the mural and is very iconic to the south and so that's why we picked the magnolia and also it was blooming at the time. The rattlesnake charmer I think is what it's called. Um, that was just a fun addition just because it's also it's, it's well known in the area and it's, it's really fun and it, it takes up a nice area compositionally. Um, and then St. John's Wort, I, I chose to put that, I actually pointed that out and, and I was like, what is that? That looks really awesome. Um, it's like a puffball with little, it's a yellow puffball with some small yellow petals. One of the things that I enjoy the most uh, about what I do is my relationship to the architecture. So when I get to look at, when I get a building that as my canvas, I really feel like a close connection to the building and the architect and I feel like I'm contributing to it in a way. Like being in those spaces, you know, so getting to go and, and see a museum behind the scenes, you know, at night, things that normally people wouldn't, wouldn't get to see, like when I'm on a, an 80 foot lift, you know, and I get to look over a building and see a vantage point that only a bird would see, I guess. I literally feel like I'm a part of the building for, for a while because I sit on the lift for hours and hours at a time, so that's really cool. Uh, you can take like a building and turn it into a beautiful work of art. 